Hey, bitty babes, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Haley J here. For those of you who are new, I am a Houston, Texas-based makeup artist, and yeah. So we're gonna get into the tutorial. I am priming her face with some witch hazel on a cotton pad just to get rid of any excess oils that may be on her face. Um, today's look is just gonna be a nice bronzy look on her. It came out really cute, so um, stay tuned. I am now moisturizing her face with my Amberly's moisturizer. I'm applying that all over her face and just blending that in. Everything that I'm using in today's video will be linked down below in the description box, so be sure to check that out. She has fairly nice skin, very clear skin, so it came out really nice and it also helps with application. So now I'm taking the Beauty Blender just to blend that into her skin before I apply any more product. For primer, I'm using the Becca Backlight uh, priming filter I'm just applying that on the high points of her cheeks and her chin and blending that in as well for foundation I did mix my NARS longwear radiant uh, foundation in I think I use Namibia and um, I mix it with the fit me and espresso just to get a nice shade on her and I'm taking that and shaping out the top of her brows I'm gonna apply that on the rest of her face with a small brush and then blend it out with my Real Techniques Instapot Face Brush. I'm just using patting motions to blend that in. You don't wanna swipe, okay? You do not want to swipe. You wanna press it into the skin and when you are done, you want it to look like her skin. So um, that's all I'm doing here. For concealer in the uh, in the inner corner, I went in with toffee, and then like on the outside, I mixed toffee with that foundation shade just to darken it, and so it'll blend in better with the foundation when I go to blend. So that's all I am doing. While I'm allowing that to dry, because I like to let my concealer dry before I blend it out, because it just gives me a fuller coverage, I'm going in and filling in her brows with my Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in Java. going in with that same concealer and um, concealing her brows to blend out the edges and the small areas of concealer I'm using that foundation brush um, I'm using that foundation brush and just patting that into the skin as well corners I like to take my real technique sponge and just go ahead and blend that in using light um, pressure so it won't pick up too much of the product my camera did cut out without me noticing but I did set her face with the Sasha buttercup powder and just press that in I do not bake I did leave a little bit on her nose though for contour I used the morphe face palette in um, deep glam and I mixed the bronzer shade and the first contour shade together and I'm just placing that in the hollows of her cheeks it's a very warm color and that's the look that I was going for and I'm also doing that using that color on the sides of her nose as well Thank you. 
And I decided I wanted to give her nose a little bit more dimension. So I did decide to um, bake her nose. And I just put a little extra powder on the side of her nose. And while that is sitting, I'm using the uh, blush, both of the blushes that are in that palette, and applying that on her cheeks. For her lips, I did use the Morphe Lip Liner and Trendsetter, and in the center, I used the NYX Lip Lingerie and Baby Doll, and had her rub her lips, blot her lips together, and I just took a brush to blend out the edges of that. And for her lip gloss, I used Fortune Cookie, and it just came out like a perfect pinky nude color. It was so so pretty. And I just used a fluffy brush to dust away any of that excess powder off her face. And for eyeshadow, I went in with my Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. And I just mixed in that brown and red shade in that palette just to give her a warm, kind of like cranberry-ish eyeshadow. Did some eyeliner and applied her lashes and that was the look, y'all. This look was super, super, super simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what it is you guys want to see next from me. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.